Contestant number 18 is Jessa Ray Growing Thunder. Jessa is 22 years old from Fort Peck Assiniboine Sioux Nations. And today her talent presentation is the story of Sunka Wakan, Mysterious Dog. Please put your hands together. Long ago, Tonkashina gathered our men. He told them, many things I know, but I do not know what this land is like. I do not know where it ends, so I ask you for your help. Tonkashina sent the men to beyond where the sun sets, to the beyond where others do not understand each other. And the men journeyed for a long time, until one day they reached a beautiful Makashmaka, beautiful valley, but standing in the center of this Makashmaka was a Wichasha Toksha, a strange man. And as these men watched the Wichasha Toksha, he soon stooped down. He gathered some of this earth. He rubbed it in his hands, and he threw it, and from it went Shota, smoke. When the Shota cleared, a four-legged being walked away. The Wichasha Toksha then turned to the men and asked them to come closer. The men were Wakokpa. The men were scared. But they showed their ohitika. They showed their courage. And as these men all sat down together, the Wichasha Toksha explained, I am here to tell you something. I am here to tell you the manner of what you are to live among this earth. Have, have compassion for one another. Know your tiwahe, honor your tiwahe, ahoda them, and treat others as tiwahe. As the men all rose, Wichasha Toksha explained, These things that I tell you, kiksuya pi ohina, always remember them. Tell each other every year. For certain, I have made your minds washaka. I have made your minds strong, and you will carry these memories. As the men prepared for their long walk home, we Chasha Toksha had one last gift. As a creature they saw appear from the Shota walk towards them, we Chasha Toksha explained, these are Shunka Wankan. These are horses. And you will have them for now and always. They will help you. They will help you in many ways. But most importantly, they will help you live in this manner of which I have taught you. When the men returned home, Many were scared of Shunka Wankan, but once this story was shared, Shunka Wankan became our brother. Tonight I have shared this story with you to demonstrate the importance of our oral history. These stories carry our traditions, they carry our values. This particular story I have shared with you to demonstrate how we have practiced these manners. To show compassion, courage, wisdom, respect, and honor 